We give all praises to Yahweh. Double honor to apostles that rule well. And all who are here to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, Judah, all the way down to Issachar, the Negroes, the Natives, and the Latinos. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait, man, for this man of war. Esau, the dragon, the serpent. You understand? Somebody give me a revelation. There was what? War in heaven. Yeah, there was war in heaven. That's that World War III. That, that's that. That's that war that's going to take place with who? Yahweh and Esau and his military force. And it's going to happen happen in Euphrates rivers. You understand? And this is the war we're looking for. Two prophecies: the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip that's going to be implemented worldwide. And we're waiting on World War III. This is going to be over. And this truth, you're not going to get it from a, from a man uh, praising Jesus Christ. You understand? And first of all, that's not his real name, by the way. We know, bro. And there was war in heaven. There was what? War in heaven. Uh huh. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. Michael, Michael is the archangel of the Mosai. There's three types of angels, the seraphim, a seraphim, and an archangel. Michael, he's an archangel. The top four angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. And all the angels underneath. There's order in the heaven and it's order in earth. Just like earth. The order on earth would be the Mosai, the sun, Man, then woman, then the children. Well, Satan got a hold of this earth. Now, woman is ruling over the man. You understand? Woman is ruling, ruling the household. That's why the household is out of order. You understand? Oh, you got a preach up? Yeah. Bring it out. Uh, well, we 1 Corinthians 14, verse huh? 40. That's why we getting for That's right. That's right. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. Go ahead. Let all things be done decently and in order. The scripture said, let all things be done what? Decently and in order. Not everybody gonna be a chief, and not everybody gonna be Indians. There's, there's ranking. There's ranks. It's like Esau military. We go to the army, navy. They got the general, they got the lieutenant, they got the corporal, and so on. Let everything be done what? Decent and what? In order. Boy. Oh, that's it on that side? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and a little bit of description of, of the war that's going to take place. Give me Isaiah 66 real quick. Isaiah 66, 15 through 16. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the original Jews of the Bible. We are not African, and you are not African. You are Hebrew Israelite, bro. You're the chosen man of God. So what we're here to do is to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, telling them who they are, their true identity. That's right. Okay, because to my knowledge and to our knowledge, there's no Trinidadian, there's no African in the Bible. So what is your true identity? You gotta know your identity in these last days. You understand? You gotta know the Most High and His beloved Son name in the last day to get salvation, bro. You understand? You just say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because our people what? reject knowledge. You know, never ever listen to any, of course, a sheep with a microphone bringing out no knowledge, praise Jesus, instead of listening to the prophets of the Lord. So that's why, that's why you went on, on, on that's what you Yeah, we went to slavery because, uh, because, uh, because, all right, bring it up. Uh, oh, yeah, that's my deal. Hosea 4 and 6. Go ahead. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The scripture said my people are destroyed for what? For the lack of knowledge. They got idiots out here think they rosters. They got idiots out here think they orthodox. They got idiots out here think they Rastafarians and Seventh day Adventists and Roman Catholic and the list goes on. When your true identity and your history and laws and statute commandments is in this one book. The Bible never said to be a Roman Catholic, Seventh day Adventist, Pentecostals, Orthodox, Presbyterian. The Bible never said that. The Bible's about laws, statute commandment, and your history. Simple as that. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Is that what? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Go ahead. I will also reject thee. Yeah, the Most High said he's going to reject thee. And the Most High going to bring his rejection on his island. It's already here. A lot of your Negroes is being put to death, left and right. 
why the East Indians is laughing at y'all? Because y'all rejecting what the prophet of the Lord. And y'all not rejecting us. Y'all rejecting the one that sent us. And that's the most high, his beloved son. Understand? Uh, Sakar, you know what I want. Bring it out. Isaiah 513. They say what? Isaiah 513. Yeah, Isaiah 513. Go ahead. Yeah, for my people have gone to captivity. They say my people went into captivity. Brother, how your um, forefathers got here? How your forefathers got here? Of course. Through what? What's the transportation? Slavery, brother. And what was the transportation? Boats. Right? Okay. So the brother had that much knowledge that we got here through what? Through slavery, right? Go ahead, son. Read. Yeah, for my people got to captivity. Say my people went into captivity. Go ahead. Because they have no knowledge. Because they have what? No knowledge. Yeah, because our people have no knowledge. They have no knowledge at all, man. That's why we went into captivity. We was following the other, uh, other gods of the other nations, man. You understand? To this very day, to this very day, our people still follow the idols. Good. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Go ahead, huh? And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from the heritage. Yeah, the most I said, we're going to discontinue from what? From our heritage, man. Yeah. We're going to discontinue from our heritage. He already did it. He already did it. We don't know our true identity. You don't even know that you're the Hebrew Israelite. You don't know that you're original Jews. When the Bible said the Jews are what? The Jews are black. Can somebody give me that real quick? Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Oh, uh, you can read finish reading yours, my God. Yeah. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in the land which thou knowest not. Yeah, we, we serve that enemy. A land that we know is not. Because when we first came here, we were like, damn, what the hell is this, man? We was on our ship for, for, for months and months. Sometimes we even see no sunlight, man. So we came into a what? We came into a strange land, man. A strange land. Read that again, brother. Yeah. He said, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. Yeah, because most of the people that run these businesses is mostly East Indians, so-called white men, or, or a little bit of Negroes that bow down to Baphomet or bow down to Satan. Yeah. Because for a Negro to make it on top, he got to follow the Masonic order or he got to bend over to get those fame. The scripture said, why gain the world and what and lose your soul, huh? Lose your soul. So they do have rich black men, but those black men sold out to what? To Satan. Understand? Read on. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, yeah, which shall burn how, forever. Yeah, how, how did we kindle that fire? By breaking the laws and statute commandments. Because a nigga loves some pork. A nigga loves some pork. You praise him, you love Jesus, but when you go home for your Sunday dinner, right after church, you eat in pork. When the Most High said that's an abomination, man. That's right. When the Most High said that's an abomination. First of all, why you eat in pork when they got five different types of worms that could destroy you and give you osteoporosis, and also it could take away your memory. All right? And also, it gives you high cholesterol and diabetes. Why eat that animal? Why eat that animal, man? Go ahead. This is Isaiah 27 and 13. And niggas love crabs and shark and bait, too. Go ahead. Therefore, the Lord said, for as much as my people draw near me with yeah. their mouth. Yeah, like that nigga right there. That's a, a perfect nigga right there. He draw near with his mouth, but go ahead. And with their lips to honor me. Yeah, with their lips, that's what that nigga's doing. With the lips, he's honoring the most high. Go ahead. But I've removed the heart far from me. Come on. And the fear for, towards me is taught by the precept of men. Taught on what? The precept uh, of men. Uh, precept of men. Now bump that and give me Romans 10 verse 2 real quick, huh? Give me that. Because he has a beautiful zeal, no doubt about it. He has a beautiful zeal for the Lord. But we're going to see what the Bible said about a nigga like that. And a nigga's not a bad word. It's a Latin word called negro, which means black. All right? Nigga's not a bad word. But when the white man use it, he use it in a derogatory, in a hurtful kind of way. You understand? And when these heathens use it, they use it in a hurtful kind of way. Yeah. But in America, different parts, oh, what's up, my nigga? That means, what's up, blood? That's all it means. It's a, a greeting or a salutation. And first of all, nigga or niger is in the Bible anyway, That's and right. we can bring it up for edification, sir. Good. Romans 10 and 2. So I think it's Acts 13, son. That's right. Niger, go ahead. For, for I bear 
But I bet them according that they are have the, that they have the zeal. Yeah, they have a zeal. Like this nigga. Yeah, I think zeal. I think Hebrews quite not. He has a quite not. He has a zeal for the Lord. But go ahead. But not according to knowledge. Not according to knowledge. Not according to knowledge. Us, we have a zeal for the Lord, but but we have knowledge. You understand? And, and what struck the nerve with him, it might have been poor for shocking baby or Christ. And I, I, I felt the spirit. I felt the spirit. You understand? Yeah, they, they, they love their pork, man. They get real defensive when it comes to that pork. Um, uh, are you done with that? Uh, we got a scripture. A precept for you? Acts 13, verse 1. Yeah, go ahead. Now, there were in a, the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers. As or Antioch came from uh, a man called Antiochus. He invaded, um, yeah, to elaborate. Yeah, he invaded, he invaded Syria. And when he took over all the parts, he named it to himself, Antioch. That's right, because the scripture said they called their land, the land after their own self. You got more you got on that? Yes. Um, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon, that was called Niger. That was called what? Niger. Niger, nigger, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Black. Niger, black group. Same thing. You understand? Now let's go back to Revelation 12. Let's rock with that. Revelation 12. Revelation 12 and 9. Continue as 9. Oh, you was Revelation 12 verse 7. 7? Yeah, yeah read, read that again. Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. That's right. Michael and his angel. Michael, Michael, who is like God. Alright? Sometimes you gotta understand what these names are. Anybody with Michael, they, they got real talent. Michael Jackson, he had real talent. Yeah. Michael Jordan got real talent. The, the man could hang in the air for a, a long period of time. You understand? Yeah. Let's back that up. I gotta do that work. Named Mike, and um, he said that he could, he could solve, he could solve, like he could solve the hardest map um, problem just like that. On the top of it, said he don't even need a pen and paper. No. He got skills like that. So you understand? So anybody got, got the, the name Michael, they have some type of uh, talent. You understand? Just like a, a guy I used to work for named Michael Peters. He could remember a whole blueprint in his head, man. He know the size of the doorway, he know the post and everything all in his head, man. He don't need a blueprint like other architects does or, or builders. You know what I'm saying? That's his talent, that's his gift. Now read on. See, Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. Uh huh. And the dragon fought against the angel. Yeah, the dragon, the dragon represents Esau military force. All right, Esau military force, man. They, when Yahweh, while Yahweh shot come out the sky, Esau is going to fight against the angels, the Most High and his beloved son, and the angels, which the angels are <laughs> black men, by the way. That's they right. black. All right, they are not white. All right, all right. And prevail not. And what is that? Right? Prevail not. And prevail not. Go ahead. Neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. Good. And the great dragon was cast out. Yeah, great dragon. Oh, uh, a uh, 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 huge serpent. Oh, uh, a uh, wicked person. Now let's let's rock a little bit with the huge dragon. Give me uh, Psalm 58. Uh, three through eight, huh? Psalm 58, three through eight. Uh, three through six. Psalm 58. Yeah, 3 to 6. Psalm chapter 58 goes 3 to 6. Yeah, go ahead. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The scripture said the wicked are what? Are estranged from the womb. The wicked. The so called white men are wicked. Go ahead, huh? They go astray as soon as they are. They go astray as soon as they be born. Yeah, soon they come out their mother pussy, man. They wicked off the bat. Read on. They speak lies. They speak what? Huh? Lies. They speak lies. 
How they speak lies? Saying that the white man.